and introduce him to you first. Fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 66.1 kilograms and trains under Michael McSeveny out of Warrior Training Academy with an amateur record of four wins for just one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the cage, Alex the Killer. Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 66 kilograms and trains under Brad Gawthorn out of United MMA with an undefeated amateur record of four wins for zero defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Daz Goulos! <laughs> and when our action begins, our referee in charge, Peter Hickman. Peter Hickmont, in charge. All right. Three, three minute rounds is what it is scheduled for. Paneris fighting out of the blue corner. Kolovos standing tall, fighting out of the red corner. And it's Paneris taking center cage straight away. Kolovos responding with an outside leg kick there. Over to you, Ben. You see that Taekwondo back there, the fluidity of the kicks. Those kicks go up like. He's done them a million times. And, you know, it's, it's great having 10 centimetres of reach advantage, but you've got to use it. You know, and Alex is, is giving him no chance to use it. He's landing head, damage and shots. Uh, He's having a lot of success closing that distance early, and we mentioned that just before the introductions. How well will that advantage play for Kolovos? Yeah. The killer going to work on that leg bit. Yeah, and look, um, Daz is showing the signs of this fight already, sort of a minute in. Alex lands with bad intentions. Oh, and those leg kicks, that was a great shot from Daz there, just timed the leg kick. He's been getting hit with a few leg kicks, and he's obviously thought, I'm going to take the next one and throw the right hand and see if his head's still there. That body kick is going to be great. There's that right hand counter off that outside leg kick then. Kolovos, he's starting to read the timing of Paneris. He's took a lot of damage on that lead leg. I'd like him to use the jab a little bit more, just to keep that range and create a little barrier between him and Alex. Alex seems to be able to get in whenever he wants. Absolutely. And he's trying to create the barrier with the lead leg, but it's just a little bit trickier. Again. Alex has got some damage under his uh, left eye as well. Beautiful technique from the killer as he shoots for those hips. And he's linked under the bum here, so it's hard with the height. You know, the levers become that that much more important you know, as, as he took the supporting arm away. And look, here we're going to see the levels in the jiu-jitsu now. He's, he's moved to mount. You said this was expected, Ben. I mean, you saw this first hand against White Fraser. He's managing to do the same against Daz, controlling him quite well, full mount. And he's having no problems here. He's only got 30 seconds left to work, though, so I'd like to see him sort of try and posture up. Here we go. Try and posture up in the mount. And it's hard with the cage because it gives um, Daz that leverage to, to create the off balance and try and sweep very strongly with the underhook. And he's done so he got himself well back to Fantastic. It's just the use of the cage. It's sometimes tough being against the cage with Mount. Daz loosening up as round number one comes to a close. It was all Panoris, but Daz Kolovos stringing together some fantastic combos to close yeah. card. Make sure it's a proper 12, proper number 12 Irish whiskey beverage as we are back to where we left off in round number two. 50-50 for both men. A great lead hook landed by Panaris on the exit. Let's get something straight here, T. We are encouraging responsible drinking Absolutely. at 7am tomorrow morning of proper 12. Okay? Only one shot. Responsible is the key for word. Breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> for breakfast, of course. Here we find Alex in the clinch against the cage. What, what a better way to nullify a, re a reach advantage than clinch up with someone. So very clever from Alex. He's got good head pressure. Sometimes being the shorter man against the cage makes the head pressure that little bit easier to apply and a little bit more painful for the taller guy. So um, good strategy from Alex. He obviously feels that he can progress on the ground easier than 
you know, there's an easier route to victory on the ground, perhaps, than, than standing up. Um, he did take a couple of shots in that first round, although landing more. Um, he obviously respects the power of Kolobos and the sharpness of the striking from him. Look at these knees. Well, he does now, and Kolobos landed a massive left Ooh, hand great and a right over the top. From, from Daz. I wonder if that's going to discourage Alex from throwing that. It's, it's left the world with his, his shin, whether that's from the kicking or the checking. And it's a reinvigorated Daz this round. He's got a bit more confidence from, from getting through the bad spots he had in the first. And uh, he's applying the pressure now, he's starting to use that that reach and land damaging shots. And Alex is just getting caught off balance a little bit. It's coming in a bit hard and, and Daz is catching. Plenty of volume for both men here. Right hand lands for Kolobos. And I like what you said, Ben. Paneris might want to resort to that second path to victory when it comes to the grappling because Daz is landing heavy. And his, Alex's chin has just come a little bit up because he's looking up now. Thinking about where he's trying to strike, he needs to tuck that chin back in because if it does what lands on a big stepping in right hand, his chin's up like that. Nice, he's under the bum here. But it's hard, so hard to complete a takedown against a tall guy. And we can't get him down just yet. Kolobos, fantastic defense in those hips. Trying to suck that lead leg that out. That was a great set. <laughs> Brought it back round, managed to link his arms. Fantastic takedown from Panaris. Very smart, thinking man's takedown with the tool bar. And down goes Daz with 30 seconds left to fight in round two. And he's back to mount again, same place against the cage, but um, he's got a bit of time to work. I don't think he's going to let Daz off as easy this time, but he's going to walk the cage now. If he can't get out of him with this fight, maybe stop. Well, it's Panaris with 10 seconds, seconds Ben. He's continuing to strike here, and Peter Hickman says that is enough. The killer, Alexander Panaris by TKO. Great finish. And look, um, this is Ladies and gentlemen, our referee in charge has called a stop to this fight at 2 minutes and 56 seconds of round number 2. Declaring your winner via TKO in the blue.